Hey everyone! Welcome back to The Silver Lining here on YouTube or welcome if you're new. I'm Sarah if we haven't met before and today is Tiny Tidy Tuesday. Today I'm actually going to be doing a couple of loads of laundry which in and of itself to some people is not a tiny task but I'll explain a little bit why I'm doing laundry the way that I'm doing it once we get started. So let's jump into it. All right, guys, I almost didn't share this video as a tiny tidy because I do feel like getting laundry done sort of has to be something specific that works for your family and works for your life. And for me, that is getting all the laundry done in one day. This helps with a few things. One, my whole entire family knows that laundry will get done once a week. So it keeps us from having to have a whole bunch of clothes. And two, it helps me feel like a job is completed and I don't have to worry about it until the next week. I know there are tons of studies and people and things that you can read that say do one load of laundry a day. But to me, that makes me feel tied down to having to do that. So getting all of my laundry done in one day just works for me. So I wanted to share it with you because I thought maybe it would be something that works for you as well. I have a family of four people right now living at home. So today I'm just working on laundry from my husband and myself and my youngest daughter because she just doesn't have that much laundry and it's tiny laundry. So doesn't take up that much room sometimes I can put hers in with our second load so that's what I'm doing in this particular instance but there are also instances where I do my older daughter's laundry not always but especially during the school year I like to help out by having her laundry done for her during the summer when she doesn't have school work on her plate then that is a chore that she picks up on her own another thing that works for me on the days where you know life is just crazy and i don't have time to do three and four loads of laundry there are weeks where i have to break it up into days but instead of doing one load of laundry a day which i know is a very popular way to do it i will break it up by person so in one day, my goal will be to get mine and my husband's laundry finished. And then another day, it'll be to get one of my daughter's laundry finished. So that's another way to kind of break it down, to check off that box. So if one person's laundry is completely finished, then I feel like they are ready for the week ahead. Two other quick tips for your laundry. The first one is always make sure that you're cleaning out your lint catcher. It is a fire hazard. My husband was on the volunteer fire department in our town for about 10 years and he has always said make sure that lint trap is cleaned off. The other thing is when you're finished with laundry for the day or for the week, however it works for you, then make sure that you leave your washing machine door open so that it has time to dry out and that it doesn't mildew and start growing mold spores. My most helpful tip as far as laundry completion, and I know a big thing is putting laundry away once it's washed, dried, and folded, is to put it away as you go. Most everyone in my household will put their own laundry away, but I usually fold it and put it right on their bed, not in a laundry basket, so that it doesn't live there for too long. So for my own personal laundry, as I'm folding it, or as I see something that needs to get hung up, I do it right away.
I hope you found my tips today helpful. If you have a certain way that you do laundry, let me know in the comments if it's similar to mine, if it's different. Thank you to Sunday Dawn from The Helpful Home. She is the creator and the organizer of this playlist for Tiny Tidy Tuesday. It's an open collab, so if you're interested in joining in and you have a YouTube channel, then reach out in the comments to me or to Sunday. I hope you liked your visit here today and consider sticking around by subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up before you go and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.